Fortnite is being played by people of all ages. And I want to go through and show you how to set up parental controls in case you have someone that is younger and you want to keep them from certain options. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. I'll also be making a video in the near future to show you how to remove those if you change your mind. So today we're going to be setting up and probably in the next video or two, we'll be going through and removing it in case you need to do that. So the first thing you need to do is go to epicgames.com. As you go ahead and load that up, I also have the link down in the description. So you could just click on that if it makes life easier for you. Fortnite is recommended for kids 13 and up. However, there was talk about Fortnite going through and removing 13 and making it 14. So if they are set to 13, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. We're going to kind of have to wait and see with that. With these features, you're going to be able to do a lot of cool things like stop them from receiving messages, people seeing their name in game and even voice chat. So with that, if you're new here and you do like Fortnite tips, tricks and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe and the bell. Great to have you here. I thank you for joining and let's go ahead and just dive right in. So here I am on the main site. So you just want to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll go to account and then you'll scroll down. Once you scroll down, you'll see parental controls. You can use these parental controls to adjust your account access to mature games. So go ahead and choose begin setup. It's going to ask you to make a six digit pin code. You need to remember this code or you won't be able to turn it off. So make sure it's something you're going to remember and maybe put it in your phone somewhere so you have it but if you lose it you're gonna have a lot of problems going through and getting this removed and once this is on sometimes there is delay with removing it that's why i kind of was waiting to do this video i believe they fixed that but we're gonna find out and if there is a delay then i'm just gonna be in trouble for a while with voice chat but here we go, set parental controls. We'll go ahead and just do this and this. Then we'll go ahead and choose continue. So here you have a few different things. You can always require a pin code before purchasing. So if you do have a credit card set up, that's something you may want to go ahead and do. You can restrict by rating level, uh, E for everyone, everyone 10 plus teens mature adult unrated so by doing this it's going to automatically set some pre-filters for you to give you a better idea now that we're in fortnite we're going to go to the top right choose these three lines and you'll see parental controls let's go ahead and choose that it's going to ask you for the pin code we set up on the website so let's go ahead and type that again the website is in the description if you haven't set that up here it's going to bring you into more options to so go ahead and choose so filter mature language, basically this is going to go ahead and filter any language that is typed. Uh, it'll say here on mature language in text chat will be filtered and replaced with heart symbols. Auto decline friend requests, this is going to stop them from receiving friend requests. Now this I want to kind of go over a little bit. It's good to decline them if they are going to be people that are toxic or depending on what age they are and you want to shelter them but you also want to be careful because people make lots of friends on fortnite and the friends that are put together and bonded are important so you want to kind of think of this for a little while if he has some friends in school maybe turn this off let them friend and then go back in and turn it on so no external person comes if you're going to turn on other options that I'm going to talk about in a moment, it might be good to leave this on. So hide your name from non-squad members. If you turn and same with hide non-squad members names. If you turn both these on, they're not going to know your the person's name that's using the account. So because of that, it might be good to leave auto decline friend requests off. That way they can get requests from people they know. But it is up to you completely voice chat if they're going to be doing random parties all the time with random people might want to turn it off they're also going to need a microphone so if they have a microphone 
and you think they're going to be okay depending on their age, then you can go ahead and turn this on. Text chat, that's how you can go ahead and message each other in the game. Uh, currently it's on, but you also have filter mature language on, so it makes it harder for them to be uh, mean to whoever is playing the game. So with that, a lot of people will leave this on. If you're turning voice chat off, you do need a way to talk in game if possible. So you might want to just give this a try with mature language. If it doesn't work, then just come back and turn it off later. Weekly playtime reports. This is pretty interesting. They will go ahead and send the uh, email address account holder every week an email saying how long they've played. So this is something you may want to go ahead and consider. So for myself, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for experimental purposes. Uh, filter mature language. We'll leave this off. I need this off. Uh, I need those off. We'll keep voice chat off for this experiment. We'll leave this on just in case. And we'll go ahead and save. So there we go. So now if we go back under and we go into parental controls, it's going to ask for the pin code again to change it. The person would need to go ahead and know this number. If they don't, they're forced to go to exit. If they go in and go to settings and go to voice chat, it's going to be off. And in, in the top right, you can see locked by parental controls. So basically, they can't even change this. It's grayed out. And if they need this change, they would have to come to you and get the pin code. And they'll know it's locked because of that symbol there. Again, I'll have a video shortly after this to show how to unlock that. And if you're looking for that video, I'll put it up at the top. That is everything you need to know to set up parental controls and keep your children or whoever is using your account safe. And also need that pin code anytime a purchase is made. So if you do have your credit card on the account, then they're not going to be able to go through and use it unless they know that pin code. So it'll save some charges it, with that. Also, usually when you do need use a credit card, you do need the last three digits of the number on the back of the card. So it's kind of like double security just to make sure that no one goes through. So I hope this helped you and I hope this got you all set up. If it did, do me a favor, smack that like. I do have some other videos you can check out. I'll go ahead and place them here and I will see you over there.